like grilled cheese. This is fabulous here at the LA Auto Show. This, uh, well, grilled cheese is the, it's the ultimate comfort food. It's what I call a culinary common denominator. Okay, now, food trucks are sort of all the rage now. Tell us how you started and how you got in business. The long story short is there's every year there's a grilled cheese competition that takes place in Los Angeles. Okay. And I was a chef forever and I never competed in a food competition so it was one of those, oh this is a casual Sunday, that'll be fun. And I came up with the cheesy mac and rib which is the pulled barbecue pork, caramelized onions, uh, southern macaroni and cheese with sharp cheddar. Okay. So I entered it and I mean I get there and the line was a mile and a half long to get in. I'm not exaggerating, five people wide. so. Didn't win, but when I walked out, I just realized there was a, another food truck out in front that was very healthy oriented, and okay. I was like, okay, that doesn't match. No. But that's the, the light went off, and it was like, this world needs a grilled cheese truck. <laughs> so I got to be creative again and decided, I'm going to throw some money at this stupid idea. And lo and behold, two years later, we've got 80 some odd thousand people following us. No, I was going to ask you, where do you guys go? How do we, how do we know where to find you? Uh, go to our website, which is thegrillcheesetruck.com. Okay. Um, Twitter is, is definitely, it's the, the, the minutely updates. I, that's about five hours of my day. Okay. Um, and Facebook, so those are the best ways to find us. Now, it's not just one kind of grilled cheese, Dave. It's many different kinds. Oh, many. And it would, like I said, we do specials on a daily basis. Okay. Um, today, what we did for Nissan, we did the the, um, the GT roasted melt, which, let me bring this out so you can see it. Wow. This is balsamic gar and garlic roasted uh, broccoli with bacon and mozzarella. Um, the one that we've become famous for, and this is the one that I did at that competition I was telling you about, is the uh, fully loaded. So this is a southern macaroni cheese, pulled barbecue pork, caramelized onions with sharp cheddar. Um, and we had to do, and this is just without the pork for the, for the vegetarians that, that occasionally show up. And then, of course, the plain and simple, which, you know, mom and grandma made. And That's if it right. wasn't for that this wouldn't exist. Now where did you get your first recipes from? Oh god, I, again I was a chef all my life so this this has been something where I get to to play with a lot of different flavor flavor and textural combinations and have a lot of fun with it. Okay, now do you just have one truck that goes everywhere or how does it work? We have two trucks right now that go everywhere and okay. well we'll call this two and a half. Okay. Um, this is a little <laughs> bit smaller than the other ones and we're uh, from Chatsworth is probably about the farthest north we've been all the way down to uh, long to Orange County actually. Okay, we're now, be... There's usually one guy out and one guy in so are you always the guy out or you do you trade off? I'm around it, we actually run about five people on our truck because okay. we get lines of about two hours uh, at a big stop so we try Trying to get through it as quick as possible. Toyota uh, was really forward thinking back in the 90s uh, where other people were really uh, on the big huge SUV craze uh, and back in the early 90s actually uh, Toyota felt that if we were going to survive in the 21st century we have to uh, do something about uh, environmental vehicles. So, so we started uh, pr um, engineering on the first Prius, which went on sale in Japan in December of 1997. So it's been 14 years. It came to the United States in July of 2000. Uh, since then, we've sold over two million Priuses worldwide and over a million in the United States alone. Well, I remember there was a time when you couldn't even get a Prius because everyone was waitlisted because right. there weren't enough of them. Right, that's correct. Uh, and it, they're still very, very popular. They are the third best selling vehicle in our model lineup behind Camry and Corolla. Uh, and Someday, uh, as we get more and more hybrids throughout the Toyota model lineup, we feel uh, hybrids may very well be our best-selling vehicle. Now, if you've never been in a hybrid or driven in one, does it feel different than just a regular car? It does a bit, but uh, um, because when you're when you're driving one, when you start out, you're in electric mode only, so that's a difference right there. When you uh, stop at a traffic light the uh, vehicle sometimes will feel like it's stalled out but that's the system shutting down so you're not wasting any more fuel at the traffic light once the light turns green and you start up again magically the car starts moving again uh, and uh, you've saved all that fuel right there so that's why the Prius uh, in hybrids in general on the for Toyota get better fuel economy in the city than they do in the highway now you're coming out with a lot of different styles this year. Let's talk about that. Yeah, we Prius has been so successful that uh, it's really gone mainstream. And so when you think of hybrids, you think of Prius. Sort of like when you think of ketchup, you think of Heinz yeah, or, exactly. or or Kleenex. You know, is for tissues. So, right. so um, we've gone forward and uh, begun what we call our Prius family. Uh, so in addition to the Prius liftback, the original Prius. 
Uh, we just launched the Prius V, V standing for versatility. Uh, that's for those vehicles who wanted a hybrid but needed more size, more cargo space, more utility. Uh, Prius V is, a, is significantly larger than Prius and gives all of the utility that those buyers are looking for, yet it still gets awesome fuel economy, uh, well over 40 miles per gallon. We actually noticed that when we looked at the car, it's it's very, very spacious inside. Yeah, it definitely is. You can you can definitely tell the difference when you get in there, especially in the back seat, uh, there's a lot of room. And, and the cargo area in the back is, is significantly larger than the cargo area in this in the original Prius. Well, this is definitely a garage I am most comfortable in. We're in the NASCAR garage here with Toyota. It's the Camry and it's the official pace car for the Daytona 500. Well, what can you say about the Ford Mustang? It never goes out of style, and you just want to get inside and drive. Yeah, I, I think I could see myself in a Mustang. Well, Mitsubishi's come out with a 100% electric Mitsubishi i. It's the most likable car on the planet and the most affordable. It's best-in-class efficiency. It's the Mitsubishi i. Well, we've seen a lot of amazing cars here today at the LA Auto Show, but the Hot Wheels, now that is a car that we can all afford. Thank you so much for joining us today from the LA Auto Show, and we'll see you next year.